Today we're announcing that we've signed a five-year partnership agreement with the Free to figure out how we can jointly um, innovate in some of the system's most complex and tricky problems in healthcare. This is about enabling us to do what fundamentally every single one of our staff comes to work to do, which is about saving lives and improving care. So, so far we've started by developing an acute kidney injury alerting app. And essentially what that does is look at the blood test results as they're coming in in real time and generate a bunch of alerts and reminders and notifications as we see abnormal blood test results. So at the moment I can access that information, but it's in potentially seven or eight different places and I have to log in and out of different systems to get that information. But the really cool thing about this intervention we discovered is that actually there are loads of other really important things that we would like to alert on. So things like sepsis, for example, which is a national priority, and many other conditions that require a preventative intervention can actually be flagged when you see the blood tests in real time. We want to use this to make a step change in the way that the patient experience is improved and staff get even better and more fulfilling jobs that they're able to have at the moment. One of the other benefits I can see of digital communication is, is communicating on a large scale with lots of different people, keeping them up to date. Handover, shift changes are very complicated and, and electronic ways of communicating can be beneficial to patient care. In many cases, people do expect their information to be shared and shared appropriately between clinical professionals, for example between a GP and a hospital doctor. And we've put in place every step possible to ensure that we have a very secure technical infrastructure and that we have all the right governance processes in place. This for me is about a paradigm shift in how we put information and data to work in the best interest of our patients. For us as a company that was founded on the premise that if we were able to build some aspects of general intelligence then we could use those tools to make the world a better place. And this was a great opportunity to try to uh, uh, make good on that mission and so that's, that's really why we set up DeepMind Health.